Today we are going to cut a Sphero in half to replace the battery because them hacks at Sphero won't give me a replacement and they won't do anything except tell me it's out of warranty. So what we have here is a Sphero ball in a bench vise and we want to cut right down the seam gently to pop this into two halves. Got a flashlight put here so you can see where the actual droid is inside of the ball so you don't accidentally cut into the circuits so you can see the dark lines that represents the robot inside the ball and the little circles are the wheels and there's also a little antenna you want to watch out for all right I'm made it all the way around cut the ball in half i did upgrade from the hacksaw to you know some sort of trimming power vibrating saw it was just taking too long with the hacksaw and it was hard to keep a straight line okay so i've got the controls electronics motor everything out first thing you need to do is just twist this out it just comes pulls right out you have to twist it around the antenna but it does pull out and we're going to remove those two phillips screws next so you just kind of have to gently wiggle the board up, kind of rotate it until she comes loose. See, we got a little connector in the middle there, that two position connector. So we got multiple connectors. That one, that one, that one, that one. They're all connecting to these connectors. So we need to get this little plastic piece off the top of those two batteries. Looks like it's got little clips here on both sides. If you squeeze it in and lift it up, you can get the plastic piece to come up. You have to do that on both sides gently so you don't break the ears. There's one side, finally all the way out. There's the second side. That removes the plastic piece. Now, as you can see, in case one of these little dudes come out from the connector to hold that in the right spot, now's your opportunity to get that placed back in there where she's supposed to go with the plastic retainer piece. Okay, so this Sphero has two little batteries. What you need to know is what it says there. 3.7 volts, 350 milliamp hours, 1.3 watt hours. There's maybe some part numbers too, as you're gonna look, use that information to find your replacement batteries. Pry it out. I have to pry them both out. Here, we're gonna get this one out next, because I think it'll maybe make my life a little easier. Let's see, whoops. These are little lithium ion cells. Okay, it looks like they're both going to that connector right there. So we want to figure out how we get this little retainer piece out. I'm going to have to go get a flathead screwdriver. Stop. Okay, so you have to get this retainer clip out. It's got this little clip here, and it's really hard to get to unless you're going to really start taking this thing apart. But I used a straight pin, and I was able to fish that clip in just enough to get it to release. When it's released, your batteries are out. Take mind of your size, so you can tell these are bad. Look how puffed up they are. Anyway, and then on the top, there's little control electronics, and they both feed into this little connector. So we're going to buy new batteries, and then we'll be back to show you how to replace them. We're gonna trim the rough edges with the utility blade, working our way around both halves, and then using sandpaper to smooth it out before we put it back together. So 
So after we clean up both halves of the sphere and uh, wash them up and wipe them out, we're going to uh, find some white duct tape to put it back together. Here's a little unboxing of some Gorilla white Blanca duct tape version. Well, I guess it's not duct tape, it's Gorilla tape, their version of it. Yeah. Um, found it at a hardware store. You probably find it online. Who knows? You find it. Just keep looking. There's other brands of white tape, but this is the grill. We'll see how it does. We cut the tape in half long ways so it wouldn't have too many bumps and hopefully it'll still roll nice. All right, so it's back together. We got it blinking. We bumped it a couple times. Here, here's proof that it works. All right, let her rip. Yeah, changing colors. We're getting the app running. Whoa, talking to us. Seems to be all right. Just uh, need some new juice, new batteries. Make it roll. That was a, there we go. All right. Just figuring out how to rename your Spiro or get it to restart the game where you learn how to use it. So like, say you want to give your Spiro from one kid to the next. Well, it took a little bit of time to find out, but, but here's the answer. It's called a triple tap. Booyah. End of story. Uh, what button do you hit to reset the game? Get soul. Get soul. And then hit rename to rename and you're done. Hope you enjoyed.